to be fair, I'm still gonna kill him. Chapter nine, huh? So now it's on chapter ten. Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotta find Laura. What the f- <laughs> Should have just gone to the Harbinger yeah, Motel. <clears throat> well, that's a weird revelation, though, that it just happened. But I guess it does kind of make sense, you know, she's a fortune teller. Well, it kind of makes sense that, you know, the child being a gypsy would be able to, the uh, um, head werewolf, I guess, you know, the alpha. stay. Okay, now we're Kaylin. The table, help me. Get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well... They wouldn't take hold that fast, but okay. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. 
and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. What about that security room? I just want to have to look at the power being out. Pretty much just a, a room with cameras that don't work. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like, Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right. Hmm. He's a big motherfucker. I guess name ain't Bubba, it's Bubba. <clears throat> Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. What'd that say? Ah. There we go, okay. This might be where we have to hold out then. That was going on outside. Somebody. to come up here other than that. What's the way down? Oh. A big ass log cabin. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. What needs for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Mm hmm. Oh. 
Oh hell. Yeah. Showtime, motherfuckers. Somebody say showtime. Oh, I kind of fade to black, huh? What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No, we're safer in here, and it's nearly morning. Yeah, about we're what safer the? in here. <laughs> Well, face first into the railing. <laughs> Better move this one to alert it. It has very good hearing. Damn, that is tall. Take your fucking eyes off it. Shoot it again. Okay, let's go. Unless we didn't have any ammo in it, shoot the fucker again. I don't know if that's gonna work. How is that working? That? It's Caitlin! Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her if she passes. If she passes. Uh, beam. Come on. Oh, fuck. QT. Luckily, I don't have to spam the other than fuck out of my A. <laughs> Damn. Right on the fucking ground. You heard that shit fucking. Oh, he climbed up the wall. We ain't stopping. We keep moving. Caitlin! This way! I don't know how Dylan survived that account. He didn't get hurt. Caitlin! Caitlin! Over here, Caitlin! Caitlin, you don't have time for that. Come on. Fuck that, I'm going over there and getting it. Fuck. Investigate. Hey, you didn't say chosen. It's silver! Hey, I'm here! Did you already load the fucker? <laughs> cool, cool, yep, yep, come on. I just 
I hit it with silver, and I don't have to. It don't have to be fatal when it kills me. Fuck you! I got you, motherfucker. Frying pan helps, you know. That, that's helpful. Oh, he ain't. I don't think it's dead. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I fucking hope so. Excuse me. How did you do it? How did you just keep two innocent people locked up for two months and not even blink? It's pretty cold, man. Did what I had to. It was necessary. Wow. Wrong answer. Necessary? You stole two months of my life. You changed me. I will never, ever be the same because of you. But at least I can move on. You know, I'll heal. You're the one who has to live with what you've done. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <laughs> Disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? A little bit. <clears throat> Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better. But, yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. 
that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? No, right now he's actively trying to help us, so I'm not going to. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Go team! Yeah, poor Ryan, he ain't got nothing. Alright, well, I guess he has the supernatural powers now. Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do justice. You know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Salas' mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. Or she never died. Back. It's Corey. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hack. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? Just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. Some hay bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's I don't know where he is. Silas, I mean. <clears throat> Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kinda wish I hadn't. Same. Oh, 
So, what is she, like a banshee type of thing? Because she can't be a gypsy, right? Oh, maybe she is a gypsy. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. <clears throat> oh. James oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Oh. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Yeah, that one's a different color, so in theory... We should be good. Please, let's just... Let's just go. Before we... We have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. I don't know why the leaves keep glitching out. Oh, she's gonna be mad at me. She is gonna be mad at me. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. She's technically breaking the fourth wall. Uh. All but one. Made it out. They believe this is the ending. It didn't say chapter 11, so I'm assuming this is the epilogue. Yep. Oh, that was Nick. Oh, shit.
Okay. Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. Okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming Why back to Hackett's Quarry. funny? There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside, so today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on Tell the inside? Trying. The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't <laughs> wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre. I feel like it's going to be funnier or... if I could have an actual, like, little screen there okay, showing fine. everything Let's going do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who <laughs> listens to this show. If you are the one Tell who sent time. us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really... Really? There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you, what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, <laughs> Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? <laughs> yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh, in uneven, uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? 
I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. I said a thousand. No. Well, I used to be in thousands. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Oh, really? I didn't realize then, that. Okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Wartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, <laughs> the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes. You say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Uh, the corresponding of this is like, she, uh, in my Zoom. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. Huh. All right. Uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right. Okay. Here we go. Gammy, how long are we going to drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp. And I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more. And right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy. Or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief in the lightning. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. Well, I'll bear that in mind for later. All but right, well, get that's where the trail goes a little cold. What about the family? Can they verify it? No, in fact, they've completely gone to ground. Nobody's heard from them since. Who can blame them? Innocent people don't hide, Anton. Hmm. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <laughs> I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, 
Do you need someone to comfort and leave? What the fuck? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on? so you? Don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? What the A fuck? photo taken by one of the counselors. Emma Mountebank. Downloaded from her phone. Oh my god. Is that <sighs> real? This is what we're here to discuss. It looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else, too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her! The Hag of Hackett's Quarry! See? Full circle! I mean, that could be anything, dude. It barely even looks like a person. What's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Okay, well, could this be fabricated? Claw marks in a wall? Literally, yes. So this, to me, isn't <laughs> overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, I mean, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. Claw marks! Wow, you're right. That is underwhelming. But I'm kind of interested, because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate prank. True, but if I treated everything like that, I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point, I guess. Okay, <laughs> you know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. <laughs> I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look. a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. I don't know, whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um... Who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. 